Hello and welcome inside the studios here at Leafs TV, keeping you in the loop as the Marlies look to start a comeback, starting with a victory against Norfolk in Game 4. Dallas Aiken said after practice on Friday that it won't be an easy hill to climb, but if they are able to accomplish it, the story will be so much better. The team, though, is not getting too ahead of themselves. They look to start by opening the scoring here in Game 4 on Saturday, because in all seven games in the 2012 playoffs that the Marlies have scored first, they have gone on to win the game, where only four of nine times have they won when allowing the opening goal. The Norfolk Admirals, on the flip side, have won 11 of 12 times when they've scored first. That first goal is definitely an important one, and they've lost two of the five times the opponent has scored first. After a heartbreaking loss in overtime of Game 3 and the AHL acknowledging the goal should not have counted the next day, I send you now to Ben Scrivens as you can see the team maintains a level head. You know, I used the analogy yesterday, you're driving along the highway, you're going, you know, 110, and a deer jumps out right in front of you, right? Do you never go on the highway again? Do you only watch the side of the road from that point forward watching for deer? You know, it's, you, you, you know, it's a one in a million bounce. Um, you can't really change your game or change what you're doing because of it, because it's, you know, it's a freak occurrence, you know. You, you, you have to understand what the scenario was and what the situation was, and and realize that, hey, sometimes bounces go against you. I'll leave you with one final stat ahead of today's matchup. Game three was the sixth time in Ben Scriven's career that he's headed past regulation in a 0-0 tie. It happened three times during his days at Cornell University and then three more times now in the AHL. For all the roster and lineup news heading into game four, you'll want to tune in to John, Bob, and Henning in the Leafs TV Marley's pregame show at 2.30. Then catch all the action starting at three through Canada on Sportsnet 1, in the U.S. on CBS Sports, and over in Europe on ESPN America. If digital's more your thing, catch me on Twitter at Chancellor. I'll be sure to throw you a few more stats throughout the game. And if you want to join in on the conversation, don't forget to tag all your Marley's chatter with hashtag Marley's Live. Remember, for full game highlights and player interviews, check out Marley's.ca.